I feel like my face looks so much lighter than my chest. Hello, hello, hello. So today I'm gonna share with you guys my current favorites, but we're doing it a little bit different this time. I'm gonna do it kind of vlog style and take you through my day and share my favorites as we go. I already have my long list of what I wanna share. I haven't been doing my monthly favorites the past couple months, I wanna say at least the past month. Anyway, um, because I kinda wanna switch to this style where every maybe two or three months I share just what my favorites are. Let me know if you end up liking this style. We are doing makeup stuff, but we are doing everything in between, coffee mugs, my favorite oatmeal, just random life things, home things. So I'm excited. I've got some fashion stuff. I'm gonna share the jeans I'm wearing. Also, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Brooklinen. We're gonna talk in just a little bit. One of my favorites are bedding set we love. You guys are gonna really like too. We've been using it for a few months, but we got a new one that's like a little bit of a pattern. I'm excited to show you too. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Okay, first up, of course, it's morning. So we're gonna have some breakfast and of course, coffee. <laughs> okay, so this is a favorite, the apple cinnamon oatmeal from this brand. Um, it weirdly tastes so incredible. I can't explain it. We've tried a lot, <laughs> like all of the like, you know, protein, oatmeal, natural, this, that, and the other. The taste of this is so far superior to the other ones. I had to mention it. I know that's kind of silly, but I don't care. It is so good. The apple cinnamon is definitely my favorite, and I usually just use like a kettle for the hot water. I wish you guys could taste it. I will say uh, it's harder to find unless you're in like more of a like Whole Foods like store. Um, at my superstore, Meyer, um, I couldn't find it there. I I did see it on Thrive Market. It's cheaper, but you have to be a Thrive Market member, you know. Yeah, the apple cinnamon is definitely my favorite. The, all of the ones we've tried though, they have like a variety pack, are good. Anyway, ten out of ten, so good. Anyway, another favorite, this coffee mug, Target. Absolutely love it. It's so cute. And I know it looks kind of like boring, I feel like, but I love it. It says my happy place there. I love the taupe color. Not very expensive. I can link it below. It's still, it should still be there because I bought it in the Target haul I did. So it's just a good one. I just think it's so pretty. And especially if you are like a neutral lover, this is a good mug for you. Also, before we go up and do our makeup, in case you were curious about the state of our house right now, <laughs> this is our dining room. Haven't used it in a while. <laughs> We're redoing our basement, and so this is where the books that were down there are living, and Tyler last night spent time <laughs> organizing them into categories so that when we do move them back down there into like the built-in bookshelves that'll be there, he'll be able to organize it, but it gets better, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you hear little coos and, and noises and stuff, it's my little baby. Hi, Felicity. But since I am taking you through my day, like I said, we'll start with makeup. First up, this makeup bag. I absolutely love this. It's from Walmart. I think it's around $20. They have different colors. I just love the white and gray. And I actually have the favorites I'm gonna mention in here. And I'm gonna put them on. Since we're doing this vlog style, I figure we'll be true to vlogs and actually like get ready together. So uh, first up, okay, a few of these, I feel like I'm cheating because they're newer discoveries to me. I don't care because they are that good. <laughs> I'm mentioning them anyway. So first up, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This stuff, it blends in so fast. It's bizarre, but it looks so good. Like it stays really pretty throughout the day. I would say it's got like medium coverage. It's just so good. Now I did get a color like kind of darker, not darker than my skin tone necessarily, but really close to my skin tone. And I do think that's part of why I really like it. But the formula of this is insane. Like look, that blended in so fast, but it looks so nice. I feel like I don't have to set this with a concealer or I mean a powder. I do because that's kind of my MO. Like I always, because um, you know, you got the fine lines and I feel like it looks a little more flawless when you do but I don't feel like this is one I feel like I have to. So I've been wearing it every day since I tried it in that recent vlog a while back ago and I just love it. <laughs> Smiling at me upside down, are you this cute? She was supposed to be napping, which is why I started filming now. And I may have to take a break because she may just be too loud for this video and I'll have to come back. And this is her new noise. All right, so anyway, to finish up this concealer and then I'll, I'll take a break with her. She's got two teeth coming in on the bottom, so she's like, I am a piranha. 
Anyway, I just feel like this concealer looks absolutely beautiful. It's so easy to use. I feel like this lighting's a little bit weird because it's literally like dark in my room. But uh, yeah, I just love it so much. I also have to mention, I have Aquaphor on. Usually though, when I'm sitting down here, I throw the, one of these on. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Plumping Masks. This is like the original one I had in Cherry Vanilla. This is the new one. I think it's limited edition in Birthday Cake. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Birthday Cake one is definitely my favorite, but I love both. Um, it's just like a little bit of like a thicker lip balm. It kind of gives that little tingle. It's not like the cinnamon burn tingle. It's more like a minty. Oh my gosh. This smells like the birthday cake of my dreams. <laughs> um, and I just, I love it. It's so comfortable. I'll just wear this through the day. I think it's supposed to be overnight. Please. I just wear it all the time. <laughs> but I love it. I do feel like it plumps just a little bit. But I really just like the way it feels. And of course, the way this one smells too. The cherry vanilla one smells incredible too. Like this before I ever had this, I, this was just the favorite. So, you know, either way you go, it's a win. So another favorite, I, I almost didn't mention, I was like, I don't think I've talked about it in a while. Y'all, the e.l.f. powder foundation is so good. It is still that good. I, mine broke, I'm still using it. I have the shade 150C. I just feel like it's flawless. It kind of blurs and makes everything look so smooth oh my gosh so smooth so it is a lot like i feel like if you are not a fan of like higher coverage you might not like it but i'm a big fan of powder foundation this is really beautiful i had a foundation on already the nars uh long wear foundation i just feel like even if you didn't put this on foundation this is really pretty over just like spf over moisturizer it's like that high coverage, it's so pretty. So I don't use this to like set my under eye necessarily just cause this is, I don't know. I just don't, I feel like it's too heavy for that area but everywhere else I just feel like it is flawless. And this is the thing I grab for, if I'm running errands and I just wanna look a little more put together, I just sweep this all over my face really fast good to go. Okay, quick shout out for this, the Maybelline Master Fixer little pen. I have, the, I think this is discontinued so it's weirdly expensive, but I have another version of this on Amazon or maybe it's the Maybelline. Either way, it has a bunch of replacement heads for the makeup remover and it's so easy to clean up your wing with it. Incredible. So I'll link this one and then I think I have another brand that's like the same thing. I'll link both of them below. Pretty inexpensive on Amazon. They last a while because you can just replace the heads and then you just toss them. Game changer, like I always have one with me when I'm getting ready. I use it pretty much every day. It also is great for like cleaning up if you've got like mascara marks or anything like that too. All right, Felicity is asleep. My fingers are crossed. I've reheated my coffee, par for the course. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's continue on. I'm trying to think. So last I showed you was that powder and oh, I think I showed you the forget the filler, which is absolutely incredible. So another thing I'm just gonna show you here cause I'll do, I don't have any like eye favorites, I don't think. Oh, that's not true, my mascara, I'll show you in a minute. But I wanna go ahead and show you this cream bronzer. I've showed it before, such a high quality cream bronzer. It's at the drugstore. I know Ulta sells it, it's the Revolution brand. It's such a great, easy to blend, easy to apply product. I definitely will say if you use a super dense brush, it can be a lot. But what I love is that even when I get heavy handed with it, which is often, it blends in, like once I grab my sponge and start tapping, it blends in so fast. So that's why I just feel like it's really forgiving. And yeah, I, I feel like it's always, I've mentioned it a lot, but I don't care because it's so good. <laughs> I am gonna use this like Eco Tools brush I've been using lately. And you can see like, it's such an easy application. And then ob obviously it hasn't been blended, obviously. But I just feel like I can kind of take whatever's left. I can kind of do this. It's just really, really easy. I might get a little more for up here. We'll see. Cause again, I don't feel like my face matches the rest of my body right now. You can kind of see how quickly it blends in and it just looks pretty. Like it's not powdery. Like, I don't know. There's something really pretty about the finish of this product and it can look really pretty natural or again, I mean, you saw, you can definitely get a lot more pigment out of it if you want, but I just love it. You guys, there's a reason I keep talking about it because it's just, that good. All right, we've got a headband on because I'm about to do my mascara and I know my hair is just gonna like, <laughs> uh, but quickly on my eyes, I used the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And then this, I thought about mentioning as a favorite, the Persona 24 hour waterproof eye pencil. I definitely really, really like it. It reminds me of the Makeup by Mario pencil that's always sold out, that's my favorite. And this is the brown one, which is again like that. It's literally just called brown. 
really like it, but I'm still kind of testing it out. So I don't, I didn't want to like, you know. This is newer to me, but oh my gosh, it's the Tartlet Tubing Mascara from the Tarte brand. This stuff instantly, and I mean instantly, adds volume. It makes your lashes look so perfect so fast and it doesn't flake or anything because it is a tubing mascara it just comes off with warm water it's if you've never tried a tubing mascara it really is unique if you're someone that has issues with like smudging mascara or anything like that you need a tubing mascara because they just don't do that because of the way the formula is it's like not even possible i can't explain it other than that this is one of the best ones i've ever tried if not the best one I've tried the Thrive Cosmetics one and I really like that one too. This one's so good and this is the mini size so you could save money, give it a try and not spend the full, you know, kit and caboodle on the full size. Now I know I love it, I'm, I'm gonna buy the full size. I don't typically leave mascara on my lower lash but it'd be a good lower lash mascara too because again, same reasoning, it doesn't, it doesn't really go anywhere. No smudging, no flaking. So yeah, I absolutely love the way that looks. Oh my gosh with and without that's crazy so first of all i forgot to show the application if you've been hearing me talk about the stila convertible color in the shade lilium for years and you still have not tried it i don't even need a highlighter with it it's so beautiful and it actually it's a cream blush that actually stays in place okay two favorites i want to put this on first just to show you this is the essence lipstick in number one freaky it is like a couple dollars and it is just so good i feel like it looks good on its own it looks good with a gloss on top, like, mm. yeah, I just really like it. It's a really like nice moisturizing lipstick that I have, I don't know that I've heard anyone talk about. It. I think the packaging's kind of cute. It's got the little E for essence at the top. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan and it's literally a couple dollars. So I really like this shade. But the other thing I wanna show, so I'll wipe this off to do it, is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Rosewood Glow. This stuff is like one of the best discoveries I had this year in the lip world. I bought it during the Sephora sale. Oh my gosh. It is so like glossy and pretty and comfy. I absolutely love it. This shade, I want to say, keeps selling out. If you like what I like and you are near my skin tone, this color is just, I think, one of those everyday colors that's super comfy. It's actually kind of cute with it. We have a date tonight, by the way, Tyler and I do very excited about it. I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I was like trying to do my makeup with that in mind, like I'm actually going on a date. And I kind of did a little bit of like pink in the crease and I haven't done that in a while and I really like it. So, all right, that is all of the makeup stuff I wanted to talk about. What's next? I gotta look at my list. Next favorite, our sheet set, our bedding. This is Brooklinen. And as I mentioned earlier, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Brooklinen. This is the second, this is our new set. I just washed them. We just got them in the mail. We have loved our original set for months now. The first night we slept in it, Tyler and I looked at each other the next morning and we're like, it felt like we were sleeping in a five-star luxury hotel bed. It feels so high quality. And the reason we love Brooklinen is because they offer that nice, crazy high quality luxury bedding set but for a fraction of the price because they cut out the middleman. And we love too that you can mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns. Plus, you know, if you don't wanna take my word for it, I hope you will, but they have over 100,000 five-star reviews. So a lot of people loving them too. <laughs> so the set we got this time is Brooklinen's Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. We love this. This is a little, and this is a little different than their other bundle, which is the first one we got, their classic hardcore sheet bundle. And we really like that. It's got that cool and crisp percale, which that is definitely Tyler's favorite. I think I'm partial now feeling this one to this one, but they're both so good. But if you are a hot sleeper, I would definitely go for the percale version, their classic set. But these are their like luxe sateen sheet set and duvet cover. And I, I think I'm partial to this one. So instead of buying individual items, you can actually save 25% by buying one of their hardcore bundles, which includes their core sheet set, extra pillowcases and a duvet cover. That's what we've gotten both times and we absolutely love them. Plus it's nice to have an extra extra duvet cover because we've got two kids and a dog that is, you know, like I said, dying to come jump up on this bed. He totally sleeps in our bed. And you know, these get dirty. It's nice to be able to have an extra duvet cover to switch out when you're cleaning your sheets as well so that everything is nice and fresh every time you change your bedding. Two big things that I feel like mentioning because there's something I look for when I'm shopping for sheets. I love that their fitted sheet has a little tag that says 
short side. So when you're making your bed, you at least know you're gonna get it right the first time when you're trying to figure out which corner goes on which part of the bed. I think that's huge. And another thing is we have a pretty deep mattress and the fitted sheets are deep enough to easily fit across them really nicely. So I feel like a lot of us have a deeper mattress or maybe you have like a mattress protector or like a topper on top. I feel like these are made deep enough to accommodate for all of that, which is wonderful. I mean, don't you just wanna like <laughs> jump into the bed? It's so comfy. Okay, future Jesse. it's the next morning. We slept in our bed last night with the new sheet set and everything it literally felt like we were in a hotel bed and i just it started snowing today i just want to go right back to bed <laughs> so brooklyn and right now is having their largest sale of the year for black friday it's running through november 30th you can get 20 percent off of a sheet set or any of their other products they offer on their site like i said they also have really nice towels so i will have the link to get 20 percent off your order right at the top of the description box these are so comfortable you guys i promise i promise i would not steer you wrong and i promise you won't regret it i feel like i've i'm a real like real adult like I have actual really nice bedding and that's really nice. <laughs> so thank you again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, next up is um, I'm a, I got some curves and these jeans right here, if you've been wanting to kind of branch out of um, skinny jeans, listen, I love skinny jeans, I still wear them. So, you know, <laughs> trust me. But I was wanting to just try some other things and so I got some flares, which I actually really like because makes me feel like I'm in middle school because that's what I was wearing all through middle school. Anyway, these are ones that are really high-waisted and I was always against the high-waisted because I felt like they were really restricting and like uncomfortable. These are stretchier. I got them on Amazon. They're Levi's and I think they're called like their rib cage because they almost come up to the rib cage, which again, turned me off because I'm like, no, no, no. Listen, if you get some shirts you can tuck in, you could get like a leotard like one or whatever those are called. I will forever call them leotards. But anyway, even if you've got some of a tush and some hips, I feel like these are still comfy and I like that they're stretchy enough. They're fitted here, but then they go loose there. So I don't feel quite so, like I'm not a big fan of jeans that are just loose everywhere. I don't feel comfortable in them, you know what I mean? But these, I really like and I feel comfortable in them. I feel kind of cute in them. And yeah, they're just so different than other things I own. So I wanted to mention them because I know a lot of you guys that watch me are go like, similar age you're probably going through similar things where you're like i want to try some of the new styles but i kind of like i don't like them or i don't i'm not sure these are good ones it's worth at least you know amazon you could buy them try them on if you hate them return them you know but uh yeah i'll put the size that i am in these down in the description box because i don't know off the top of my head what size these are <laughs> so you know so i want to show my favorite necklace right now i've gotten a lot of questions about this is from ana luisa they sponsor a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of my YouTube friends. This is not sponsored. I don't think they know who I am. I love this so much. It is so simple and pretty and yeah, I have, let me go grab the ring that I also get questions about, also from Ana Luisa that I love. It's probably my favorite ring I own other than my wedding ring, which by the way, I'm having like a reaction to all of a sudden. So I've been putting cortisone on it and I really deep cleaned my ring, but anyway, I'm giving myself a break. We were on a break. All right, these two right here. Both of these are from Ana Luisa. These are two of my absolute favorites. My favorite is this ring finger one. Well, I mean, I just have it on my ring finger right now. Because again, it's got that same like white that this has. I don't know what that's called, but I just think it is so pretty and so different. And then I love this gold one here. These seem to be high quality. They're not like turning my finger or anything. I've had other rings from Ana Luisa and none of them, like I've had for longer than these and none of them have ever like turned my finger. I do take them off the overnight. Like I just put on my rings in the morning. Big fan of those. I, <laughs> I feel like I've always kind of liked some Ana Luisa pieces, but the more, you know how like, <laughs> Every, your phone's listening to you and I'll be on Facebook scrolling and I'll see like Ana Luisa sponsored posts, you know what I mean? And then I scroll through and I'm like, everything is cuter than the last thing. And just when I place an order for some stuff, I see even more cute stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh. So definitely recommend if you're looking for like higher quality jewelry that's not like hundreds of dollars for a piece, but it's also not like $10 Target jewelry, which I also love, this, these are from Target. But you know, if you're wanting them to last you a while longer, I, it's a good brand. I've tried quite a few brands like this lately. Gorgiana is another brand I really like. But yeah, Ana Luisa, I've definitely been enjoying their pieces and they seem pretty high quality too. So perfume wise, as we're transitioning into like fall and winter, well, it's already fall, transitioning from fall to winter soon. This one here smells so incredible. Every time I wear it, Tyler says, ooh, you smell really good. <laughs> and I wear perfume pretty much every day, but this one, there's something about this he really likes too. It's very sweet, 
but still grown up. It's, it, I don't really have anything like this. It smells incredible. I used to have a, uh, tr not trial size, but like a travel spray um, that I used to travel with. Of course, I used that one up. So I love it, big fan. You can definitely get smaller ones. I typically buy my perfumes on fragrance.com. Every once in a while, I'll dabble on Sephora, but if it's on fragrance.com, I uh, will buy it on there because it's cheaper. So anyway, love this so much. It smells so, so good if you're wanting a new kind of wintry scent. It's really good. Um, also, I can pop the scent notes on the screen here because I'm terrible at describing scents. So that way you can at least get an idea if you're someone that kind of is looking for certain things. This one is so, so, so juicy, so good. I'm gonna try to spray this with my left hand. <laughs> Why is that so hard? <laughs> oh, so good. So book wise, this is my Kindle, by the way, I, I love, I've owned another kind of Kindle before this one. And I like that this one has this extra room for your hand to hold onto. And then the buttons on the side, that was a game changer for me because I hated holding the regular Kindle. So if you were like needing an idea for someone, or you were like thinking about asking for a Kindle yourself for Christmas or something. I highly recommend this one. I'll link the exact one below. Anyway, this is what I just started literally last night. So I have no idea how I feel, but I wanted to talk about some recent books I've read. So one book I'm literally listening to right now is uh, Love Lucy and it's written by Lucille Ball, which I think is so cool. And it is so interesting. <laughs> I am flying through it. I, I just can't, I was gonna say, I can't put it down, but I'm listening to it. It's so good, you guys. And I'm someone that like, I liked I Love Lucy, but it's not like, you know, there are people that like really, really love that show or like their mom or their grandparents. I, I felt like medium about it. Like I'd seen a decent amount of it, but wow, it's just interesting because you're hearing about Hollywood in the 30s and 40s and 50s. And it's just, ooh, it's nitty gritty and it's interesting. And she name drops celebrities like crazy, which is so interesting. Anyway, highly recommend, even if you only have a slight interest, I'm trying to get my parents to read it because I know they would love it, but they won't listen to me. <laughs> I also just finished literally last night before I started Lovecraft Country, Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty. She's the one that wrote Big Little Lies. So I really thought that book was interesting. The show was interesting. This one was okay. I rated it three out of five stars. Like it was not bad. It was still enjoyable to read, but it's not something I would recommend like that someone needs to read. If you just want something kind of interesting, sure, but it's not up there like in favorite books, but was glad to finish it. I think I need to take a Leanne Moriarty break because I feel like, a, you know how authors obviously have a certain style and they continue to write in that style. And like Taylor Jenkins Reid is an author I really like, but after reading a few of her books, I'm like, okay, <laughs> the like magic starts to wear off because you start figuring out their um, style, you know? <laughs> not that that's a bad thing, but I'm not someone I don't think that can read an entire catalog of an author because I would get tired of you know what I mean? You start to know like what to expect. Yeah, those are recent ones. I know there are more. Tyler and I will probably in Vlogmas over on his channel in December, do a talk about the books we've read this year and our favorites and stuff like that. I still set my goal of reading 30 books and I think I might hit my goal if I continue on with my audiobooks too, that helps. Anyway, yeah, so I think I might hit the goal. I might be just under, we'll see. But yeah, that's what I've been reading lately. This is so fun. I hope you guys are having fun watching this. <laughs> Back down to the kitchen. So just was refilling my water cup and this is definitely a favorite. It's the Hydra Peak brand. Um, I got it on Amazon kind of as a Stanley dupe, you know, that <laughs> viral cup, very, very similar, small enough to fit in your cup holder. It's got the same kind of handle. Pretty sure this is also 40 ounces like that one. And of course has the straw lid and then you can shut it. Um, you can drink out of it this way too, if you wanted to. Um, so lots of options, but I just really like it. They have a lot of different colors. They have like a nice ivory color. Honestly, there were a lot of choices. So definitely a favorite. I use it absolutely every single day. Here's a favorite right here. Hi, Pinocchio. Hi, handsome boy. So I gotta go see if my squirrel friend's out too. <laughs> okay, it's afternoon now and I'm gonna make some iced coffee. And this is definitely, this has been a favorite. It was a three pack on Amazon. I just think these are so cute, okay? They have shorter ones and these are like the taller ones and came with glass straws. Those freak me out. And so I just use like silicone ones, but we are gonna make some afternoon iced coffee in this. So another little side favorite here are these brew over ice K-cups. I'm still loving these. I think I mentioned them the last time I did a favorites. I like the classic black, but they have like a vanilla flavor. And then I wanna say like a caramel flavor. These are amazing because they hold up to ice really well. However, you're not supposed to brew in 
like an, a glass cup like that. So I'm going to just do it, this is what I've been doing, in a regular coffee cup and then dump it in there over ice. I guess I don't really know what the difference would be, but that I'm just doing it this way, okay? <laughs> And while I'm at it, another favorite, the Chobani Peppermint Mocha Creamer. This stuff is better than like any other Peppermint Mocha Creamer I've tried. I also like their pumpkin spice. Uh, it was hard to find, but I feel like it's in more places this year. Last year, I could not find it anywhere. So definitely recommend. They have regular like, you know, vanilla type flavors too, if you're not into Peppermint Mocha, but big fans. We're gonna use some of this today. Perfection. Oh yeah. Mm. Guys, I'm telling you that creamer, it doesn't taste so, so, so fake. You know what I mean? And I'm, listen, I like fake flavors as much as the next guy, but you know, I just feel like this tastes a little more like real. I don't know. It's really good. It's worth a try. So another favorite, I have a favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe and I'm gonna be making them today, so I'll definitely insert a little bit of B-roll of them here. These are, I'll link it below, of course, the New York Times chocolate chip cookie recipe. They have perfected it. They are like <laughs> next level good. I'm making them actually, because tomorrow we're going to like a Friendsgiving thing and we're bringing a dessert. And so I was gonna bring, you know, like a classic like pie or cake. And I thought about I'm like, you know what? There's gonna be kids there. Chocolate chip cookies are always a win and I've been wanting to make these again. So they're so good. Tyler's made them too. And they, there's like a little sea salt on them that like takes them, it will shoot you straight to the moon, you guys. These are so good. So if you wanna be the person in your family or your friend's life that makes perfect chocolate chip cookies, use this recipe, you're welcome. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, this is like a weird place to film, but the lighting's the best here. This is my current purse. I got it on Amazon, you guys. And I've got my little my little sparkly thing that makes me think of the holidays from Bath & Body Works. Um, but yeah, I just love it. You can, this is actually, you can do it full length, but I like that this is, like I just kind of shortened it and it's right there. It holds exactly what I need in it. I've got like my wallet. My keys are all in the front here. I have like coupons in there, a lipstick, and then of course my phone fits in there. That's pretty much all I need on a daily basis, you know what I mean? And it's nice too, because it is smaller, I think it's perfect for, what's happening down here, you guys? I think I might've missed a button. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Stop looking. <laughs> anyway, um, I like that I can still be wearing my like diaper bag and not, you know what I mean? It's not so obtrusive, but I like having a separate bag for my stuff that I'm reaching for, like my wallet, keys, phone. So big fan, they had other colors too. I just really liked this ivory color. Isn't it so cute? And I just love the shape of it too. It's just different. Can you guys hear the birds chirping right now? I feel like I've talked about birds a weird amount in this video, but whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I'm outside because this is like the last 60 degree day we're gonna have probably for, you know, all the way through winter and stuff. It's been unseasonably warm for fall where I live in Indiana. Not complaining, but it is odd. Tomorrow it drops down to like, I think the upper 30s and then we kind of stay around. We have around 40 or 50 for a while. So I'm trying to enjoy it, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I had so much fun doing it this way. Let me know, like I said, if you did like it, I can certainly do it this way in the future. Just spending a couple hours of my day with you guys, sharing everything I'm loving and using all of the time. So again, if you want to check out Brooklinen, they are having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday through November 30th. So you can click my link right at the top of the description box to get 20% off their sheets and other products. You guys, we really love them. And Tyler, <laughs> Tyler loves them too. And when we switch to like our non, we have one set that's, I don't even know what brand, but it's, it's not Brooklinen. And it's just a very different feeling. We both miss. <laughs> The Brooklyn and Duvet and sheets, they're so comfortable. They feel like, I mean, for me, it always feels like I'm sleeping in a hotel and that's, I mean, that's a pretty big win. So definitely check them out. Like I said, link at the top of the description box. Thank you again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring a portion of this video. I love you guys so much. If you want to see some of my other favorites videos, I'll link the playlist. Of course, they're more like sit down style, but they're still good. <laughs> definitely give those a check out too. <laughs> it came out weird, whatever. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.